Hello, and welcome back to another Python tutorial. We're finally moving on from Python list and uh, jumping into Python dictionaries. Uh, dictionaries are different than lists, but they also contain data like lists. Um, if you remember back to the previous tutorial, lists contained um, data that was in an ordered list. Uh, dictionaries are not in an ordered list. We would access um, data in lists by um, calling its index number, where in dictionaries we actually call a key that will display us that data. Um, and calling that key is called mapping in programming. So basically it's giving you a roadmap to the data. So the data is not in an ordered list, it can be in any sort of order, um, but we use uh, keys and values, the value being the data, and the key being similar to a variable, but it's not a variable, um, to access that data, and that's called mapping. Um, now, dictionaries are mutable, so it means we can change it in place once it's created, which is uh, a good thing. Um, so that way we can change our data um, in our dictionary. We can also make our list grow and shrink as needed. So let's go ahead and take a look at a dictionary. I'm going to fire up my... Python interpreter here. We gotta be on it. So we did Python three. Fire it up here. <clears throat> All right. So I'm gonna create a variable to represent my dictionary. And dictionary is created with a curly bracket, opening curly bracket, and a closing curly bracket. This would be an empty dictionary. So if I call a, there's my dictionary. Right. Um, I'm not going to, we're not going to jump into adding and subtracting things from our dictionary. We're just in this tutorial looking at what a dictionary is and how to uh, create the dictionary and also grab the data from the dictionary. So um, we'll create another variable that represents a more um, intriguing dictionary. So we'll say uh, first name. All right. So this is a string. All right. And this string is called the key. The, the, um, that, or the string on the left hand side, it doesn't have to be a string, uh, is the key. And then on the right hand side is the value. So I'm going to say John. All right. So the first name is John. So the value, or the value is John, which is the data, is what we're going to get returned, and we're going to access it by the key so first name string all right so here's key here's uh, value and this is also in a dictionary as you can see the curly bracket here now we can separate our key and value from another key and value with a comma so we'll create last name key and then the colon to separate the key and the value and we'll say death all right and then we close out our dictionary with the curly bracket. So now we have a dictionary that's represented by the variable b, a variable variable b. I'm having trouble saying variable. Um, <clears throat> so like I said before, on the left hand side you got your key, on the right hand side you got your value or your data, and same here, key, data, or value. All right, it's called value, but it's actually our data that's stored in there. So a dictionary kind of kind of is like a uh, database, so we can say, "Hey, I want the first name." So it's going to return to us the first name or the data that's stored in our dictionary. So if I go B, and I'm going to do square bracket, then I'll do uh, first name, and another square bracket, and hit return. I'm going to get return John. All right. So what it did here was, I told Python, "Hey." I want data from B, which is representing this dictionary right here, or assigned to this dictionary right here. And it goes into the dictionary and finds the key first name. And then it returns to me that data. So it goes in and finds first name, and the data is over here, it returns to me John. All right. We do the same with last name. We do last name, and it's going to return to us our data. Um, so we say, hey, we want uh, dictionary B that's represented by B, all right, and we want last name, so we get to find the key, 
There's the key, and it returns to us dough. So that's the basics of a dictionary in Python. They're pretty simple. We're going to start digging deeper into it and seeing other cool things you can do with dictionaries in the next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. And uh, if you have any questions, leave us uh, some feedback on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. We'll see you in the next one.